the eBay special K Tune Shifter. Playmakers. Okay. Auto Marvis, kind of spin it. Man at the coop. Mom with no tennis. Chop out the top. Hit it in the limit. I got some K. What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So you guys saw the title of the video. Pretty much we got a little install on our hands. Um, I already unboxed it, but basically um, replacing the OEM shifter, I think with all the power that it's making now, um, I can't afford to miss gears due to OEM quality shifting. That makes sense. So we'll show y'all what I got and then we'll go ahead and install it. All right, so basically what we have here is the eBay special k tune shifter. Um, I figured if this does any better than the OEM shifter and it's worth upgrading to the real deal, then I'll explore that option when we get to it. But for the sake of just upgrading from OEM, decided to go with this one and even though uh it is ebay i'll be honest with you i've seen some other videos and uh it looks pretty solid man so i guess we'll install it and do like an actual review and see what it's what it's hitting for comes with the top piece of the shifter i also had to order the um base plate because i they don't make these for preludes so more than likely i'm gonna have to use this to fab up something to mount this to the car so that i can mount this to the plate so um I guess next step is uh let's go ahead and take this center console out and uh see what's what we're working with. Alright, so I got the uh center console off. It's not that hard. Mine I didn't have any screws in mine, that's why I was able to kind of just pull it out like that. But um, if you wanted to know, there's four on each side, um, and then there's two going up through here. Take those uh, 10 screws out, and then this pops right out just like you saw me pull it out. Um, so yeah, so basically it looks like I got, um, these look like 14s, four, uh, four 14 millimeter, um bolts holding this actual plate in and then i got i don't know if you guys can see there's a clip right there and there's another clip just like that on the other side i have to take both of those clips out and then um then i have to uh un what is this looks like a 10 millimeter on this side Pop that clip out, and then this is held in by a cotter pin, or yeah, it looks like a cotter pin. So, yeah, let's uh, get the tools we need and pop this bad boy off. First little mock-up the first issue I kind of ran into right away was um, these are the brackets that hold the shift cables and basically when you put it in place I wasn't able to put the cable through and have enough room to put the clip on so basically what I had to do or what I'm in the process of doing is uh, basically taking this um, angle grinder and basically cutting some material off enough to actually put this clip on so I've already done a little bit here and there um, I got a little bit more to do to make it fit and then uh, we'll move on to the next step Alright, 
I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> originally, uh, my or I put it like to you like this: my original footage that I had of everything, I had me, uh, what do you call it? The time lapse of me taking everything apart. I had all that footage, and for some reason, man, it all got deleted. I don't know what happened, but regardless, the quick rundown of what I did, I'm gonna I'm pretty much run you down of what I had to modify to make this work. It's not plug and play, not in the least bit. Every component had to be modded. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's because um, I did not have the uh, KS2 shift cables. I'm assuming that would have made everything work smoothly, but I decided to use the OEM cables because there was nothing wrong with them. Kind of. If I had to do it all over again, I probably would just go ahead and get the cables if I knew that the cables would have made the process easier. So if you plan on doing this, man, I'll be 100% honest with you. Go ahead and get the cables too. They're expensive, but I had to do a lot to make this work, man. So unless you're willing to do all of what I'm about to explain to you, get them cables. <laughs> if you want to be hard-headed, then uh, I'll show you what I did. But basically kind of where more or less where I left off was... Uh, I think I was grinding down those pieces under here, the ones that hold the clip, that hold the linkage to the actual assembly. Um, now, my guess is, if you were to buy the KS2 uh, shift linkage um, cables directly, then you wouldn't have you wouldn't have had to modify any of that at all. But since I am using the the OEM uh, cables. I'm assuming that's why I had to do so much modification. So I'll just kind of like briefly walk you through what I had to do. So essentially, uh, this gear here, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, this linkage here, um, I essentially had to drill a hole through the linkage itself. The original points in this, the screw uh, didn't fit. Like assembly didn't match up with this uh, shifter. So what I had to do was, you see this bolt right here? Basically, where this bolt is going through, I literally put the linkage through here and literally drilled a hole all the way through and then put this bolt here. Now this bolt isn't tight, it's loose. It's just meant so that this doesn't come out of the assembly. Um, With the other linkage, this OEM circle piece, let me see if I can get a better view. This OEM circle piece, actually did not fit into the shifter so i actually had to grind the shifter down on both sides on the inside so that this could actually fit inside the shifter um it was a lot of work i'm not gonna lie everything about this project went didn't well i'll just say everything about this project did not go as planned so just be if you if you're gonna try to do this just be prepared to do a whole bunch of bs unless you buy all the necessary parts even the uh the billet uh plate that was supposed to be an adapter um i thought it was a universal adapter but apparently it's only for like civics and i want to say civics and maybe the acuras um the actual rsx but it didn't end up fitting you could see the original shifter bolts line up in the back but they don't line up in the front so i had to drill holes in the front like maybe two or three inches short because this is like the original spot where the original shifter holes are here and there so obviously i had to do some rigging there i mean it's solid it's not going nowhere you know what i'm saying it's in there good but i would have rather been able to kind of use the adapter i may still come back and have a custom plate made and then um you know do it the way i, I want to do it and then um actually the the console actually still fits over top of all this so i'm gonna show you guys what that looks like here in a second so it almost looks like it's completely oem aside from this top part the actual shifter part so um i did have to run this one through where the uh, ashtray coin holder thing normally would be and i don't have that there anyway because i run this gauge so that actually kind of worked out perfect so this kind of runs through and then connects but um yeah i guess let's get it back together and 
I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is pretty much what it looks like put back together. It looks OEM except for obviously the top part of the shifter. But um, yeah, man, I like it. Shout out to my boy Troy. He got me out the way with the uh, Momo uh, shift knob to match the Momo steering wheel. Wood grain gripping, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate him. Um, but yeah, man, joint look good. Joint looks good, man. I finally cleaned my prelude up. Uh, finally cleaned it up, so it looks halfway decent. Except for this, I do need to find another driver's seat, fix that up. Other than that, the rest of it is pretty, pretty decent. But yeah, man, 